Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Oop, there goes my pile of coins. And you can see as they fall that they are the Hong Kong 5 cent coins. And we see a couple different monarchs here. So let's just flip these coins all over on their face and look at the back side of them because with a Hong Kong coin we need to a uh, 5 cent coin from the British rule we would need to look at the back and the bottom and we can see that each of these coins on the back and the bottom has the date and we have a number of years here okay queen elizabeth we'll turn you over also and what we have here queen elizabeth the second on the front of this one and we'll be able to tell who's on the front of each of them by the date on them so here we go we have a 1949 here a 1950 a 1967, a 1960, and a 1972. They all say Hong dash Kong, and then the year, and then up the left side it will say five cents, actually starting from the top. Each of them have the flower here on each side, flower, flower, Hong Kong, five cents, and the year at the bottom. And in the center, it says Hong Kong, five cents in Chinese with a dot at the very center. The Hong Kong in Chinese is surrounded by a beaded circle. And the rim of the outside is surrounded by another beaded inner circle of the rim. If we flip these up on their edges, we see at what we saw at the beginning. And that is these are kind of a sandwich coin that has a reeded edge. It has a beaded in interior as you can see those beads as they go by and uh, it is a send what we call a sandwich edge two outer edges in an inner edge if we flip this over we know what we're going to see on there and that's going to be George the sixth because we saw that it was from 1949 and 1950 uh, these two coins uh, from 49 and 50 We'll have George VI on them. The rest of them will have Elizabeth II on them. So let's move these out of the way. Get these ones in. And we see that when we do that, all right, that we see two George VI coins. And we notice that this one is obviously very worn, very discolored. George VI is facing left. It says King George VI. This is the 1949 coin. And in, the 1940, in 1949 and 1950, they produced this five-cent coin. And the reason that it was produced was because they had to take the Ed Emperor of India off the front of the coin. So the coins prior to this said INDIMP, or Emperor of India, around the outside. They had to take that off because in 1948, India... India achieved its independence, and so they had to take it off the British coins. So these two, from 1949 to 1950, do not say Emperor of India, and they also have George VI on them. Now, when George VI died, his daughter became the queen, and his daughter was, is... Queen Elizabeth II. So when we look at these particular coins, we see that they are slightly different from the other ones. And that is that rather than having King George VI on them, they have Queen Elizabeth II. She's facing to the right instead of the left, and the writing goes in a different direction. It says Queen Elizabeth II, beaded in her rim again. But it's not quite the same beading. It's more of a lined rim. Um, and the lines are much more um, pronounced on here. And if we look down in closely, we see that this is the first portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And that portrait remained on all of the five cent coins from Hong Kong until 1988. We don't have the 1988 coin here because it was not uh, uh, widely distributed. The 1988 coin was a non-circulating coin. So if you find one of these five cent pieces from 1988, it should be in pristine condition because it was never circulated and it was only sold in sets. This coin here from 19, 
1958 to 1980 had Queen Elizabeth II on it, and they did not change it at all. It was always the first portrait. It is a nickel brass coin, 2.6 grams in weight, 16.5 millimeters in diameter, and 1.68 millimeters in thickness. The engraver on this coin is, was Cecil Thomas, and the engraver on the King Edward, I mean King George the Sixth coin was Percy Metcalf. And so Cecil Thomas and Percy Metcalf. And when we look at the, this coin, we see that it looks remarkably the same. It's a little bit different. This is these the Queen Elizabeths are nickel brass. This is simply labeled as a brass coin through Numista. It's 2.5 grams instead of 2.6. 16.5 millimeters in diameter, the same. 1.68 millimeters in thickness for this one and 1.5 millimeters in thickness. So this is a thinner coin. It weighs a little bit less and than the more modern ones. When we look at these coins for value, there's not a tremendous amount of value for these coins. When we look at these coins for size, we see that they are very small. Uh, here's a kind of a bigger one. Okay, here's the English 10 new pence coin from England or U the United Kingdom, and you see that that is huge compared to this. This is simply a very, very small coin. I have an old beat up US dime here and we see that even compared to the US dime this is a small coin. So the Hong Kong five cents is a very small coin and it wasn't made for many years and we don't have a lot of different varieties of it unlike the Hong Kong ten cent coin which we looked at in the other video. Alright that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin